together with these teams. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we're, we are now. <laughs> too late. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking too long, apparently, so. Rude. That's valid, mate. That's valid. Try hard now, guys, because after this is coming, the bot. <laughs> <laughs> 24% win rate, Top Gun. <laughs> not game Venusaur. You're not game. Just ban the slow rower, then Top Gun has to go onto something else. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have. <laughs> That's so a target man, is that Top Gun, mate? That's a target man. Oh, oh are they going <laughs> to do? All supports? No, they're down the comms, mate, yeah. as soon as you came in the lobby, I was like, they're going to ban, they're going to ban the Slowbro. <laughs> Huge bans, though. Umbre on Slowbro, Comfy Zard. Love to see it. <laughs> Quag is definitely going to lock a support in. <laughs> support all game, <laughs> No, 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 Quag is playing Mew after last time. <laughs> never played the Venu next. You've never played any range of attackers, mate. You've never played any Pikachu. You, you couldn't even play Electro Ball Pikachu or anything. I mean, <laughs> this is this is insane, mate. I mean, full, we've had we've had five defenders winning on community games. We've had five speedsters oh, winning please. on community games. Well, we have five supports. I mean, they do have the mind, right? That is like a DPS rather than anything else. <laughs> I've been so busy. I have still not from when we did the community games about four weeks ago last when the five defender comp played I still haven't managed to upload that to YouTube so now <laughs> if this five support team wins you guys are giving me work to do <laughs> I'll make it a mission to get it on what else do we have tonight something else happened oh it was the other night I cast up a golden rod when Tano they have <laughs> into governmentations with a five death comp yeah crazy crazy we had, we had the melee teams today didn't we True, yeah. true. There's a load of themes actually coming out right now. It's really good to see. Anti heal items team. How many have you got over there? I mean, one. One? Oh, right. That's all I'm seeing. This is the one. <laughs> Quack with the leftovers. Let's go. Is it the buff? <laughs> Quack with the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool Makes it mine with no picture for me. I think it's good. I mean, to be fair, you do spend a lot of time on saving like, out of the way, so... Five seconds. Like to... Imagine if every... If every um, support had an ex-attack on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ads actually starting soon. Can I just do it? Where's my snooze gone? I mean, I, I agree with you, Dino. Leftovers can be a good item. It depends who you use it on. It's not as it's not as bad as it, it used to be, or as as much as people make it out to be. Anyway, this is going to be hilarious. I can't wait to see. Oh, an ad is in progress. I, I don't know about Scott Shield. <laughs> <laughs> that's the push. The Apple, uh, the, <laughs> that's fine. Oh. The, jury, the jury's still out on that one, buddy. I mean, listen, listen to Chaos. He does a lot of score comp moms. Like he does a lot of save line. So you know. It's the Mime um, Jungle. <laughs> the Mime Jungle against Top Gun Squad. It coming in. Here we go. Off straight for the red buff. I like this. Okay, Sparky trying to get that blue buff. Level four already. I'm not sure Top Gun's going to rip this in time chat. It's almost as if they expected the invade. Ooh, <laughs> he's going to go down. Is he going to go down? I mean, yeah. They, oh. they clapped from, from Mr. Mime. Like when it claps your cheeks, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Squavit's cheeks have just been well and truly clapped. Oh, and Buzz Swallows. <laughs> Oh, so. that's so perfect. <laughs> oh, uh, Sparky nearly level 6 already. Absolutely I cooking. I tell you, my mind is freaking broken in this early game. <laughs> it's like, look at the damage that it can do as a support. Like, that's broken, chat. But champions up here on the buzzword, they're just desperate to get this level 5 to really push this top lane, but they're having one hell of a job to try and get that. <laughs> It's going to take a lot of coordination for this five support team, but I think they've played enough together now. They've got—they're all in the VC. I reckon they have a good chance here, Tano. I reckon they do as well, mate. You've got the right kind of supports. You've got not just healing supports, but you've got CC supports. You've got damage supports. I think they're in a pretty good stance to do something here. They've just got to be careful on that buzz wall, getting that levels up. Uh, nice superpower for man over there. I think they're going to go down. It's good stable. Trying to get the secure with Romoa, but unfortunately, they went back for that citrus berry. We do see a trip. Hooper on the side of uh, Orange here, Tano, as the um, Midbird's about to hit the map. Only really Mime and Aldegosh showing for it. That is going to be a clean sweep of Midbirds. Or oh, unless uh, Top Gun can lock one in, though, the confusion is too much. Sparky nearly level 8 already, and it's two minutes gone. 
Top Gun's trying to get out of there, but Mime is on a mission. Sparky taking out Top Gun, who is still on a squabbit at the moment, chat. They're having a really difficult job getting any Evos. We're now we're getting really weak, but they do want to pick up Champ. And really nice uh, wall coming out from Sparky. They secure the Inteleon, but Superpower is up and going on Champ. But the supports are surrounding Buzzwall, and they're getting yeeted. That's that Pokemon Center. A huge barrier confusion there, wasn't it? As Eve comes up, it is a, it's a Petal Dance, which is actually really, really good into the face of all these supports but he's not got any support himself, so what are going to do? They drop it really low, absolutely huge from Zephyr, defending this goal zone, not letting them break. And here comes Champ, can they get some much needed KOs? No, I would have gone some huge cotton guard. They're still staying in there, too. There could be some huge KOs here. <laughs> As soon as they get one KO from the supports, like the, the, the supporter team is picking up really tasty KOs in return. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're playing really, really well at the moment, to be honest. It's 115 points to them. They are actually in the lead at the moment, which is so, so funny to see, considering they've got such a great theme team. It is starting to kick off on the bot side. It is Sceptile drops really low. Huge pickup from Quag. Oh, a huge stun as well. <laughs> Waiting for some support here because they have no rip. They are 100 percent like you're gonna have to just take the KOs, right? Because you don't have that rip. Um, but here comes Sparky, they've got the damage on the mine. They're deciding not to go for the red ice, they need to get the KOs, but you know, it's a difficult situation. There comes the rings unbound tins. They're gonna be able to drop a lot of CC and damage. Now champ is incredibly weak. They do pick it up with the Clefable, and they've taken out three people from the purple side. They do secure the Reggie Rock as well, even though Zeke was on it, ripping it as the Venusaur. Yeah, mate, <laughs> they didn't need any support for taking that objective. On the phone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well done. Speaking any pain, it's not like it. <laughs> 220 points to 53. These supports are popping off here. I mean, level 7 on the greed and now. So, for Top Gun is managing to get back into this. There comes the Elder Gosh Unite. Bird and Anger does come out, but they're not able to secure anybody with it. The Venusaur has gone down. Look at the amount of CC coming from this support team chat. It's absolutely filthy. This should be illegal. They should be in jail. They're taking down every single person here. Oh, Dino gets a big pick on the Elder Goss there, but then goes down in the face of Quagony Sparky coming for the backup. They have started the rip, and that support team has ripped a red time. Unbelievable. It's a tough one because it doesn't seem like anybody on purple side are managing to get anything done. It's a really difficult job, right? They've got the uh, the levels for the Unite moves. Here comes the Buzzwall Unite move, but look at the CC Unite coming out of the support team. It's a really difficult job to even handle it. Yeah, we had a rings up out there at Showtime and it's just been insane. I didn't even catch an overcap there, but 349 points to 59 here. Yeah, nearly 300 points ahead as we've headed into the mid game. What can they do here, Tano, in the face of all these supports? Their top lane is decimated. It's like these supports are running together so well. I mean, they are breaking up now, but they're, they're coming together quite well. Look at their damage that's just been popped onto that Inteleon pin. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, what can you even do against that when you're on something as strong as that? Buzzwall just having to use everything in their arsenal just to get out of any CC. Verdant Anger only takes somebody down to half health. Greedent Unite comes out. Compute and Crash comes out. But the CC's there to just stop anything happening. All of those Unite moves that you've just witnessed, chat, and not a single supporter has been KO'd. <laughs> How can they take any out? Like, Verdant Anger, Petal Dance, it's just doing no damage. It's, well, just look. <laughs> it's unbelievable to see. They're making an assault onto the bot here. Here comes Top Gun, just ticked over to level 10, trying to do something for his team. They're just having to back up here because they cannot <laughs> do any damage in the face of this. I mean, this is the, also a very risky option for team support to go for, right? Ooh. Because you don't need to be pushing that goal down. Nice. You've just, yeah, you felt really confident. You pushed something that you shouldn't really be pushing. They managed to get one KO, but in return, team support have got quite a few. <laughs> they are going to take quite a few of them down here, though, Tins, which means they're going to get some really valuable catch up XP, which is just crazy to give them one minute away from their bars. Yeah, change really big team. Of a full team taking down two, I believe. I think my had to pop the showtime to stop his thunder a little bit, but what can they do here? The 408 points, can I tell you? I guess I mean, that is a nice little six, but they are still you know, 350 points ahead of your time. What can they do? They've got a lot of farm to be taken. I believe they, that's what they should be doing at this point. A hundred percent, Tins. All they need to do is concentrate on getting their farm. Nothing else matters right now. They need to go into this Rayquaza fight really strong, healthy, and feeling like they can put up a hell of a fight here because otherwise it's going to be team support all the way. 400 points is a lot of points to catch up on. 
They certainly is. We see Zeth and uh, Dino in a bit of a dodgy position here. They've been spotted by the support team. And is it going to be a similar script? Dino has to go down now. That is all right. He should be back for the Rayquaza. As we see, Top Gun can't dunk the 35 in top. That would have put him over 100 and within 300 points of a victory. But team support are just insane. Zeth in trouble here. Three seconds before the pit. He goes down. That could be detrimental to the side of purple. You're already struggling here, Tom. That's the last thing you want to see when Rayquaza just spawns. You no longer have your Verdant Anger. You no longer have the damage from the Venus. So all team support need to do now is put up a huge fight in this tunnel. Computing Crash comes out. It's not enough. They've been completely annihilated. Inteleon's coming in. They're not going to be able to do enough damage to handle five supports and chat. Look at that. Straight down from the get-go. Top Gun's trying to score some points into this top goal because they need points. But the Rayquaza is going to get a rip. This is a risky move by team support chat because this is giving them a win condition right now i'm not sure about this what a huge showtime from mine through the wall there in comes the uh buzz for unite move septar comes in who's gonna pick it up it's the club fable with a huge secure here tano and that is team support taking the victory i believe that's crazy mate it's it's like team support gave people a lot of opportunities to get back into that game i don't know why they went for the rayquaza with well of course i do they're playing five supports of course they're gonna go for rayquaza it was completely crazy to see. It gave the opportunity for the uh, purple team to get back into it, but Clefable with a tasty secure. Zeep is unable to do anything on this uh, Venusaur with the Giga Drain, which is crazy. Buzzwalls had to come and assist them. They're going to go down anyway. There comes the Unite move from Mado. So These supports have been crazy, Tins. You can't do anything against it. Mate, honestly, it is just... They played so well together as well, because to make this team succeed, you have to play almost on top of each other, don't you, right? Yeah, I mean, this is it though. This team support has just stuck together the entire time, right? It's all five of them stuck in a group and, you know, what are you going to do? Because they've got, they're healing each other, they're dropping CC in an AOE area. Like, it's just, it's completely busted. I love the fact <laughs> that we have just witnessed this. Community customs, let's go. What a game. That should have all, that should have been the last game of the night, really. <laughs> Ending on a high. Unbelievable from team support. What can that they do? That is going on YouTube, bro. That is going on YouTube, on. is that one? <laughs> what a match. Great play from team support. I couldn't score. I mean, I don't think you could do much that game, Dino. You were just CC'd the entire time. <laughs> Constantly. Oh, nearly a thousand points from team support. <laughs> oh, let's see some damage numbers. Sparky hitting nearly every member every time with the showtime. Absolutely insane from the mime. So many good barrier confusions there to hit 90k damage time. I told you, Mr. Mime is a DPS. Mr. Mime's an attacker, never mind support. That is completely ridiculous, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just take these stats in for a little minute. Uh, Tess, let's just do this for this game. It was your MVP that match. <laughs> my it? MVP for that match. That is. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the entire support team. There's, you know, there's no way that they could have worked any better together. It was just. All five of them on top of each other. Yeah, sometimes they broke away, as you were saying, um, during that game. But as you also said, they came together very well when they needed to. Um, honestly, Sparky on mine was just bringing me nightmares. Honestly, I, whenever I see a mine player as it is, it's kind of haunting me. But uh, this just took it to a whole new level. I think I'm going to have nightmares tonight, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is you're going to give uh, the MVP to the support player on Orange Team? Yes, yeah. <laughs> the, support, the, the one support player on Orange Team, they get the, they get the MVP. They can find out.